Welcome back. Do you feel more confident now? Now that the seed has been sowed inside, the seed of confidence. And before ending the previous lesson, did I not tell you that I have sowed the seed? I have helped you in actually sowing the seeds. But whose responsibility is it? I gave you that hint in the previous lesson. It is your responsibility. Let's just quickly look at what are your responsibilities now, now that the seed has been sown. Now, responsibility of helping your confidence level to increase. Apart from that, accepting responsibility adds up to never, never blaming other people. So, you have seen, there is the, we have a habit as human beings to blame situations, people, circumstances, society, country, world, planet for all our shortcomings, for all the things which are happening wrong in our life. However, when things go good, we start praising ourselves. We never make an attempt to praise other people who have contributed. If you feel that due to some reasons, there have been some things are not growing right in your life, never blame other people for your lack of confidence. If you are feeling low, I have seen, I have at times seen this happening with me also. I have not been able to complete an assignment on time and I'm starting feeling very uh, low because if the reason why you feel confident or um, less confident also depends on the situation. You have set a target for yourself, you have not been able to achieve it. The, automatically your confidence level will go down. Will you start blaming others for that? Stop blaming others for your low level of confidence or your lack of confidence. You will start blaming my parents didn't help me, I, I asked my sister to help me, I asked my brother to help me, my teacher is not supportive, she is not giving me time, nobody is helping me to come out of my confidence, uh, lack of confidence. Stop blaming others for your shortcomings. Take the charge because the seed has been sowed. How others treat you. If you see that people are mistreating you, why are you allowing that? Stop allowing people to mistreat you. Put that foot down. Say to them, tell to them, I am not going to tolerate this behavior. I am not going to tolerate your disrespect towards me. You must have seen there are so many NGOs which have come up because there are women who suffer a lot, who do not voice their uh, strugglings, who, uh, who feel so less uh, confident. They cannot fight back. It takes a lot of courage to fight back. Then you see that there are children who are mistreated. They cannot fight back. There are people to help them. But you are not in that extreme situation. You are in a situation wherein you are feeling that people, uh, maybe your friends are mistreating you or at times your sister or brother is kind of nagging you. Do not uh, allow them to do that. Do not be very rude, but tell them firmly. Assertiveness is what you need here and that is a trait that you need to develop. I told you during personality development session also. Assertiveness with very, very firm stand. I cannot tolerate or I will not tolerate your behavior towards me. How others treat you. Do not blame them. Uh, he is treating me like, what have you done for that? If somebody is mistreating you, somebody is judging you, somebody is giving you, um, blaming you, putting uh, stamps on you, ignore. But till what extent? But stop blaming them. What action have you taken if they are mistreating you? Stop blaming them. Your thoughts, words and actions. I am thinking negative, I will blame others. I am not doing things right, I will blame others. My, uh, the words that I utter are bad, nobody has taught me to speak nicely. Stop blaming people. Take action, take charge. The reason why I am saying this is you are responsible for whatever happens in your life. Nobody else is responsible. Failures, misfortune, setbacks, everything is somebody else's responsibility, not yours. That is not what you should have an attitude towards life. Okay? Any kind of setback, something bad has happened to your life, with you, to you, start blaming others so that you are now sorted. Okay, it's not because of me, it's because of others that all these misfortunes, all these bad incidences, all these setbacks I am. If I failed in my exam, my teacher is responsible. If I'm not scoring good marks, my parents are responsible. If I'm not doing well in uh, sports, my sister is not helping, my brother is not helping me. Stop doing that. Stop blaming others for your failures. Stop blaming others for your setbacks. Stop blaming others for anything bad that is happening to you or anything else. Stop blaming. Take charge. You are yourself, your, uh, so we have a ship, no? There is a sailor in the ship. You are the sailor. You sail it. Do not, do not uh, 
think and hope that people will come and help you. You can expect help, but you will have to ch take charge. When, when you see that you are taking charge of your life, automatically you will get help. But stop blaming others for any kind of mishappenings, misfortune, your actions, your words, your beliefs, your failures. Stop blaming others. Take charge. Consider why people find it so hard to admit full responsibility for their lives. It's your life. Why are you not taking responsibility of it? Why are you blaming someone else? What are they afraid of? Think about yourself. What are you afraid of? I have done this soul searching many a times where when I have, I'm not a perfect person. There have been situations wherein I have blamed someone else for my failures. What have I done for that? So after doing a lot of soul searching, I've realized nobody else is responsible for this. It's only me who is responsible for this. If I am not doing well in my studies, I am responsible, nobody else. What efforts have I put in? If I'm not doing good in my job, why am I blaming others? What efforts have I put in? Okay, what is it that you have done before blaming others? Does any of this apply to you? Have you ever done that? Have you ever blamed others? Have you ever find, found out why is it so difficult for you to take uh, responsibilities of your life? Think of a time when you didn't take responsibility. Write down what were you, what were you afraid of. So if you've not taken responsibility of, let's say, your low marks or your failure to, uh, you know, win an um, argument or your failure to win a competition or your failure to submit assignment on time, your failure to do tasks on time, your failure to score good marks on a subject, in a subject, what have you done for that? Have you, have you taken responsibility of this or not? What were you afraid of if you didn't take the responsibility? What were you afraid of? You will find answers. What is it that stopped me from taking responsibility? Maybe I do not want to do that thing. I do not want to study. How will I get marks? I do not want to perform well. How will I perform well? I do not want to take that effort. There's a lot of effort that you have to put in. I don't want to do that. So let's start blaming others. Let me just lead my life comfortably. If you have that kind of a thought, you will not be able to succeed. Okay. Again, like you have written that note, no, of uh, feeling confident. I avoid self-responsibility the most. So there, are, there could be situations wherein you will uh, avoid self-responsibility or avoid taking charge. When? When does that happen? Quickly, without thinking about it too hard, write down the first six things that come to your mind when you have written this line. Reflect. And every time you're writing something, I'm not here to correct it. It's a self-introspection, self-reflection. Reflect on what you've written, the points. What does it tell you about yourself? So if you're not taking charge most, I word self-responsibility most, and you found out the reason, why? Why did you do that? What does it tell about yourself? Are you a coward? Are you... Um, someone who puts blame on others? Are you someone who doesn't want to put in efforts? Are you someone who is lazy? Are you someone who is laid back? Are you someone who doesn't want to uh, make an effort to change? So what kind of a person you are? What does it talk about you? Write it down. The moment you write it down, you realize, okay, am I this? Am I someone who doesn't want to t take charge of life? Am I someone who is so down, so uh, irresponsible? Then you will be able to take an action. When you're planting a seed, and when you're seeing that the plant is not growing, what do you do? You try either try to change the soil or you put fertilizer or you put, um, maybe you're seeing that a lot of water is being put, you restrict that, or you're seeing that less water is being put, put more water. You are seeing that the sunlight is not being, uh, because the plants need a lot of sunlight. The plant is not receiving sunlight. So when you are sowing a seed, these are the things you have to keep in mind. Likewise, when you are sowing a seed of confidence and you are not taking responsibility of it, who will help it? It's only you who is going to help yourself, right? That is why these soul searching exercises I'm asking you to do. What does it talk about yourself? What actions will you take? Take some time, do this exercise and you will see you yourself can change your life and feel confident. Thank you very much for watching.